we're talking about water, something that I've heard is pretty key to continued existence. I mean, we found a little of it frozen on Mars and now we're practically looking for footprints. Now in this current infrastructure bill that's being negotiated in Congress right now, there is a super exciting and non-controversial proposal to stop funneling our nation's water supply through toxic pipes. Took us an embarrassingly long time to figure that one out, but better late than never. Basically, imagine you're drinking perfectly clean water using a cyanide straw. Yeah, if nothing flakes off, you're in the clear. If some of it dissolves in or you just catch a large chunk of straw, might be shaving a few years off the back end. Now this is exactly what happened in Flint, Michigan, where in 2014 the city switched to a water supply with higher acidity, so chunks of toxic pipe were flaking off into the water. Now like Flint, across the country a major problem is lead pipes, and the solution is to eliminate all lead pipes and service lines nationwide. Now you can enjoy your drinking water like your gasoline, unleaded. Now to reiterate, I'm talking about 100% of pipes being replaced. Also excitingly, Republicans seem to be behind this idea. It's so encouraging that Chuck Schumer is even doing his own little weird victory dance over there. Removing all lead pipes in the country would affect an estimated 6 million to 10 million homes, along with 400,000 schools and childcare facilities. Now, I realize that it's pretty easy to gloss over that number, but the upper end of that 6 to 10 million households is greater than the number of households in every state except California and Texas. We're talking about a Florida number of houses no longer being consistently exposed to toxic water. So let's get a bit more into how the sausage is actually going to be made. Both sides seem to have landed on a sort of fuzzy $45 billion price tag for replacing all lead pipes in the country, also known as a quarter Bezos. Now this money will be given to the Environmental Protection Agency to put the pedal to the metal on an existing government lead pipeline replacement program. Not inventing the wheel here, just supercharging the car. From there, it'll be handed out in the form of grants to states and municipalities in order to replace their pipes. If you're a state who wants to replace your pipes, we got a fat check coming your way. Now, This all means that the final boots on the ground steps will be administered locally, not by any sort of federal government program. Hope you guys paid attention during your down ballot vote casting. So there you have it. 45 billion bipartisan dollars of this massive spending bill is going towards making the water we drink not hint of poison. Before I head into the outro, I generally struggle to report on these massive budget bills, because reporting either seems to devolve into comparing two stacks of money to see which one's better. Well, 2.7 trillion is bigger than 1 trillion, but is it too big? Maybe if we just scoop a little cash from one end to the other, we'll get to a Goldilocks pile size. Or it just evolves into a laundry list of hundreds of things that might be funded in the final bill, which really downplays the impact of each individual effort. I mean, in most stories of reporting on this infrastructure bill as a whole, replacing all of the lead pipes in the country didn't even get a sentence of its own. It was just stuck in a final list of several other side projects that this bill would accomplish. Instead of focusing on the big picture, I decided today to take the opposite approach and focus on a specific line item solution. Let me know if you want more of this in the comments, because trust me, there are plenty of line items in this huge piece of legislation, some of which are spicier than others. Until next time, thank you and that's all I have to say about that. Hello YouTube, I'd like to thank my patrons over here for helping me put out my videos. If you want to support independent nonpartisan news looking into the overlooked, join this growing list of exceptional individuals by clicking on that link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and ring that bell so that freedom will continue to ring. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw, and lastly, as always, thank you for watching.